Okay. I hope all of you have written down the problem, the formula, this formula, this formula. Okay. So now I'm going I'm going going to give you the same formula, same problem. But here you write down the same problem. Okay, you write down the same problem here in place of 400, you write down 300. And in place of 600, you write down 500. Hello? In place of... Yes, sir. Okay. Okay, so section is 300 by 500. And the reinforcement is 4 into 20 millimeter diameter. Here you make it 20. Here you make it 20. 4 into 20 millimeter here in the tension side and here you write down 3 into 20 millimeter bars here you write 3 into 3 bars of 20 mm diameter in compression side and the remaining part is same the remaining part is same the dimension of the section is 300 by 500 tension side 4 into 20 mm diameters and in compression side, three bars of 20 mm diameter bar. Okay, find the moment of resistance of the beam. Okay, here you do one thing. You use M25. 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 Use M25 grade of concrete and FE 415 steel. Effective cover to compressive reinforcement is same. M is, okay, so now in this case, M will be different. Okay, M will be different. You have to find out. Okay, M will be different now. It is not given. It is not given, okay. It is not given. So, you solve the problem. All of you try to solve the problem. Okay, so are you solving the problem? All of you? I hope all of you are trying to solve the problem. Okay, okay. Okay, what is the value of M? M will be how much? Modular ratio will be how much?
Modular ratio will be how much? Point nine eight. How much? How much? Ten point nine eight. Sigma CBC is how much? Sigma CBC. For I am I am I have given you uh, M twenty five grade of concrete. So sigma CBC will be how much? It will not be seven ton per mm. How much? Eight point five. Eight point five. Okay, okay. So from sigma CBC, how much value of M you have got? Ten point nine. Is it? M value will be how much? M value will be how much? Ten point five. Need. Okay, three. Value, write down the value in chat box. Ten point nine eight. Okay, write down the value in chat box. Ten point nine eight. M value will be ten point nine eight. You can take eleven, huh? You can take eleven also. You just take eleven. M value you take as eleven. M equal to eleven. Ten point nine eight. So uh, you take M equal to eleven. Next, you find out the critical neutral axis. Did you get the answer? Critical neutral axis. Three hundred thirty three point three three. Did you get the answer? All of you, please check it. Three hundred thirty-three point three three. Have you got the answer, all of you? All of you, check the answer with Siba. Anyone got the answer except Siba? Anyone got the answer? If you get the answer, you either you tell me or you write down in the chat box.
117.17.17.17.17.17.17.17.17.17.17.17.17.17.17.17.17.17.17.17.17.17.17.17.17.17.17.17.17.17.17.17.17.17.17.17.17.17.17.17.17.17.17.17.17.17.17.17.17.17.
Okay, so I expect this 144.6 is the correct answer. Almost few students have got 144.89, okay. Okay, so I expect this is correct. The, this is the correct answer, 144.6 or 144.7. Okay, so whatever you have got, 144.6 or 144.7, okay. So this is the correct answer, 144 point something. I assume that this is the correct. This is the correct answer. Okay, so now, Next is to find out the value of critical actual neutral axis. Okay. You use this formula to find out actual neutral axis. I will zoom it. B n m square by 2 plus 1.5 m minus 1 ASC into n minus d dash equal to m into ASC d minus n. Use this formula to find out the value of n. All of you. And I expect all of you get the same answer. This time, you check your calculation properly and solve it. Use this formula to find out the actual neutral axis. Use this formula to find out depth of actual neutral axis. So did you get the answer anyone? 138. Okay, so 138. Okay, anyone got Anyone got uh, 138? <laughs> 138. Anyone got 138?
Anyone got the answer? Any other student? Except 101. One forty four, one thirty eight. So, which will be your correct answer? So, some other student, Raju, Arif Khan, did you get the answers? One thirty eight. Okay. So, any other student? I have got two 138 and one 144. So I need some more answers. Okay, so I assume that this 138 is the correct answer because I am getting more 138 answers. Okay, so now you have got actual neutral axis depth is 138 and critical neutral axis is 144. Okay, 144. So now you compare the two values. Your N is less than NC, so it will be under reinforced section. Since N actual neutral axis depth is less than critical neutral axis depth, so your beam will be under reinforced okay so you have to use this formula i will show you the formula for under reinforced section yeah use this formula to find out this answer okay use this formula to find out the moment of resistance see yes Tashi Bia, you mute yourself. Okay, so use this formula, this formula to find out the moment of resistance because you have got N actual neutral axis depth is less than critical neutral axis. So Okay, so your section will be under reinforced. This is your section under reinforced. Depth of actual neutral axis is less than critical neutral axis. So our section is under reinforced. So you have to use this formula to find out the moment of resistance. Okay, so in this entire formula, all values are known. Only you have to find out first sigma c dash value by this formula. Okay? By this formula, then sigma dash cbc, use this formula. Okay? So use this formula and find out the answer. All of you use this formula and find out the answer.
So after getting the answer, you write down in the chat box, okay? If anyone got the answer, write down in the chat box. Okay, sigma dash CBC, how much you have got? 7.97. Sigma dash CBC, 7.97. Then sigma C, okay, so I have got one answer, 16.18, moment of resistance. Okay, so please write, anyone, any other student, if you solve it, you write down the answer, 566, 5.66. Sigma dash CBC, how much you have got? 7.97. Sigma dash CBC, then Sigma C dash, yeah, then, okay, 7.97, then Sigma C dash, how much you have got? 7.97 divided by 138, okay, 5.66. Yeah, 5.66. Sigma C dash will be 5.66. Arif Khan, correct answer, 5.66. Next, moment of resistance, you put all the values. Half Sigma CBC is our, uh, how much, 8.5. B is 300, N is 138, you put all the values. After putting all the values, how much you have got, you tell me the answer. Okay, so what was the value of area of ASC? How much? ASC was how much? 
AAC was how much? Arif Khan AAC 942.48. So moment of resistance, how much you have got all of you? How much you have got? 5.66, 7.98, 5, no. Anyone got the answer? Moment of resistance, how much? Only Arif Khan and one chin has written down the answer. One have got 5.6, no, no, no. 16.18, one chin and Arif Khan 5.66. Any other student have got any answer? Okay, I, okay, so I don't know the answer. So I expect all of you can do it. Sigma CVC is, Sigma CVC is 8.5, B is 300, N is 138, this small d is 500, N is 138, M is 11, Sigma C dash is 5.66, ASC is 942.48 or 47 d is your 500 d dash is 40 so if you put all the values i expect all of you can find out the answer okay 119 so in kilonewton meter what will be your answer two four six yeah 119.56 in kilonewton per meter it will be 119 or 117 it will be like that only 119.56 according to Raju it will be 1 2 3 4 5 6 119.56 or 57 kilo newton meter according to Raju it will be 119.57 kilo newton meter according to Raju okay I don't know the exact answer I have assumed that this Raju's answer is correct I have also got almost similar answer that's why I am saying that okay so okay so let us move to this uh, to the next problem I hope all of you can solve it it is very simple only you have to put the values in this formula if it is under reinforced you need to put all the values in this formula and you will get the answer okay so let us see the second problem our second problem is this much, this one. You can see the question.
dimension of the beam is given and then it is given that 1256 millimeters square of fe 415 steel in both compression and tension side that means ast area of steel in tension and area of steel in compression both are same 1256 Okay, 1256 millimeters square is the area of steel in tension as well as in compression. Okay, then D dash value is given. You have to find out the moment of resistance. M20 concrete is used. M is directly given. Find out the UDL. Okay, see, and here see, in this question, effective word is not mentioned. That means this 600 is the total depth. Okay, total depth, not is the not the effective depth. Okay, so to find out this, to find out C, B is 300, this one, and this 600 is our overall depth. So we assume that our clear cover is effective cover is 50. So our effective depth will be 600 minus 50. Within bracket, you have to write down assuming effective cover equal to 50 millimeter. So this D is this much. AST and ASC both are same, 1256. Sigma CBC will be 7 for M20 and Sigma ST will be 230 for FE415. D dash is given 40 millimeter, this one. Okay. So critical neutral axis, same formula. By this formula, we have to find out critical neutral axis. So from this formula, we have got critical neutral axis is 157.14. So next, this is the formula to you, you find out actual neutral axis. So by using this formula, we have got n equal to 158. So after comparing these two values, n is more than nc. Therefore, the section is over enforced. So sigma cbc will be 7, sigma c dash equal to this formula. Okay. So moment of resistance of for an over enforced section is this one. It will be different. It will be exactly same with the under infosection, section, but only difference is I have told you before also sigma c dash value. The only difference will be coming in sigma c dash value. Okay. So uh, by using this formula, you have got moment of resistance is this much. Okay. So next we have to find out the UDL. We know that moment of resistance is nothing but the maximum bending moment. Therefore, maximum bending moment WL square by 8 equal to moment of resistance 146. So if you solve this, you will get W UDL value is 46.72. Okay. So this kind of problems already we have solved in the singly reinforced beam. Procedure is exactly same. Only the difference is the formula. Okay. Formula of moment of resistance. Only the difference is the formula of moment of resistance. Okay. Remaining procedure is exactly same. Everything is same. Only the formula is different. Okay, so I hope all of you have understood this problem. Only you need to use the formulas. After getting the value of N and NC, compare the values. You will get the type of section and accordingly you will use the formula to find out moment of resistance. And then from the moment of resistance, we can find out the value of UDL. Okay, so we know that moment of resistance is nothing but the maximum bending moment. And the formula of maximum bending moment is WL square by 8. And so from this formula, we can find out the value of W because L is given, effective span, L is your effective span. It is given in the question, effective span is 5 meter. You can see, find out the UDL if the beam is, if the effective span of the beam is 5. Okay. So I hope all of you have understood the problem. If you have any doubt in this problem, we can discuss it again in the next class. Okay. Okay, so all of you have got the attendance. Okay, all of you have got the attendance. No need to write down in the chat box and no need to text me privately. Okay, or personally or in the group, no need to text. Okay, all of you have got the attendance. Okay, so I hope. Uh, I wasn't present. In the first huh? Class. What? Uh, I wasn't present in the first class. Okay. Uh, what is your enrollment number? 110. 110. Ah, but I, but I know that, 110. Uh, okay then, 
I hope all of you have understood what we have discussed today. Okay. Our class will be over now. I expect I will see you all in the next class. Okay. Thank you.